How's it going? My name is Dave, and today I'll be walking you through the basics of Glyph. With Glyph, we can automate the most repetitive tasks like dimensioning, tagging, making views, or building sheets. And we can even pull them all together in what we call a bundle. So let's save you some time. To get started, click the Glyph tab, then the Start button. Glyph is broken down into two things, tasks and bundles. Tasks accomplish one thing that could be creating views or creating sheets maybe tagging them or dimensioning them, or even placing views on feeds. But a bundle would take a series of tasks and run them in a sequence to accomplish many things. To start, let's go with the dimension views by category. If I click this, the first tab is going to be asking me where I want to run this routine. So here, I'm going to select the view I have in front of me. And right now, I have the category of grids and walls. I can really quickly add more categories by clicking this button and then selecting from the drop down. Here I'm going to select rooms. And then on the next tab is where we're going to configure it. So depending on your category, you could have a number of options. Here grids are pretty simple, so you can just specify the type and then the offset, where walls have a lot of options. Right now I'm just demonstrating with exterior wall rough opening, but you can select which reference in the wall you want to connect to as well as a tying condition. So I'll go ahead and hit play. And you'll see that the plan gets populated with a number of dimensions. Next, let's add some tags. So here I'm going to tag views by category. And again, on this first tab, I'm specifying what view I want to do. And we have this nifty little button to select your active view. Nice way to select it without maybe having to find it from the list. Right now, I just have windows, doors, and rooms selected. And on this configuration, we have a lot of options. I can add leaders, I can adjust your elbow position, specify what family or orientation they are. And here we can specify the starting point and then the max offset. There's a helpful little infographic here that explains what those are, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. One big advantage that Glyph has is annotation collision avoidance. And what that's going to do is, based on your max offset, place the tags in a place that's more legible and, and generally generate a much better result than tag all not tag would. Another powerful tool is placing views on sheets. If we click this, the first tab is going to be asking you which views and which sheets. So here I'm selecting some elevations as well as a floor plan and a ceiling plan. And then in the next tab, it's your configuration. So here I have just an empty sheet loaded with a title block. And what this is representing is that open white space of a title block. Glyph will automatically find the, the largest white space it can. So you, there's no special configuration needed. And if I click the Edit Layout, you'll see that we can now kind of customize this, break it up into different zones, or even change it to rows. You have a lot of options here. But for now, I'm just going to keep it simple with two columns. And what we want to do is activate a zone, and then specify where we want those views to show up, and then select which type of view. You can arrange it in columns or rows. And then over here, maybe I put my floor plan and my ceiling. And I'll just go ahead and hit run task. And there you go. Now let's walk through a bundle. Here I have the check rooms bundle. And if I expand it, you'll see we're creating views, creating sheets, and then ultimately placing those views on the sheets. So if I expand this first task, in the first tab, it's asking me what rooms I want to select. And if I use pick elements, I can really quickly grab these. And on the next tab, it's going to be the configuration of all those views. So I have a lot of options like view template, crop offset, and a naming scheme. Here we can pull through any parameter that's attached to room and put it right into the name. Similar options for ceiling plan. And then elevation has a couple different top offsets. That's a little bit different. And then in schedules, we can actually drive a filter with something from the parameter values of the room. So here I'm feeding a number to filter out the schedule, and I'll get just the items that are in that room. 
So if I go to the next tab, here I have a similar naming convention pulling through room name and number to make the name of the sheet. And then I have this configuration of how I want the sheet to look. So I have floor plans and ceiling plans on the left, and then schedules and elevations on the right. And if I just hit run bundle, this will take a little bit, but you do have a nice little progress bar. All right, so you'll see we have dozens of new views and some new schedules. But ultimately, we have these sheets. And if I open one of these, I have that floor plan, the ceiling plan, a series of elevations, and then that schedule. If I open up some of these other ones, we'll get a similar result. All right, so hopefully you found that introduction to Glyph helpful. We walked through just a fraction of what Glyph can do. So be sure to take some time, explore those settings, and build an automation that works for your team. Thank you, and have a nice day.